Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're gonna go uh, to some specifics about custom recipes and I'm gonna show you uh, whatever I discovered. Um, there's not m much information about uh, this uh, things, uh, specifics about it and also how to make it work with tags. So I decided to make this video and share that information with the Minecraft community. So we're gonna take a look at uh, all, all the types of uh, crafting and also how to use those tags and where you're supposed to have them to make those work. Okay, let's get to it. All right, so if you're new to custom recipes, they are um, user uh, created recipes to introduce into the game and you can specify what items you want and the result and the quantity as well uh, into these recipes. So this um, JSON files uh, are inside data packs that you are uh, going to install into the data packs folder. Those are changes made in one Minecraft 113. So um, we're gonna start by explaining the difference between uh, the recipes. There's crafting shaped and um, crafting shapeless. The first one, uh, as the name says, is uh, it needs to have a shape. The, whatever items you specified, it needs to have a shape, and you need to specify the pattern for it. In this case, uh, we are specifying two and two, and all of them are the same item. The, the uh, character that you see here uh, can be specified down here on, under the key, uh, key. <laughs> and um, you specify what item or tag uh, this could be. In this case, it will be ice, and uh, you need to set or you need to sh uh, shape the eyes uh, like this in, in a square shape to obtain packed eyes and you're gonna have only one packed eyes per uh, shape the shapeless recipe uh, it only uh, you need only to specify ingredients and they are inside brackets and each uh, ingredient uh, you, you just place it inside the crafting bench and uh, you don't need a specific shape and, and you will have the resulting item in whatever quantity you are specifying. In this case, um, I, I, I just have one item which is uh, a tag. All the, uh, any item that is wool, whatever color it is, it will turn it into four strings. So let's test those out, uh, you, we need eyes in this shape and we're gonna have packed eyes, perfect. And also all the recipes that you unlock are going to be available here on the uh, crafting menu and you can uh, click show in craftable and you're gonna have it there. And from there you can specify how many. And the funny thing is, let's see. Oh yeah, it works. <laughs> they kind of fixed that bug. It, is, it doesn't show ex the exact quantity here, but it is working. Okay, so the other recipe was wool. And any type of wool, if it's like that, it will turn into string. Uh, if it's the other type, the other color wool, also into string. And why uh, am I using a tag? What does that mean? A tag is basically a a grouping of the same item. Minecraft has specified some uh, default ones like wool and, and all the color uh, wool will be inside. As you can see under the name it has an ID. The ID it is called red wool. So every wool item will have different IDs and that's why we're using tags to specify uh, all of this. Okay we're uh, going further with this and I'm going to show you a couple more things. So what happens if you need to or you want different items in the crafting bench? In this case, you need to specify it uh, 
in a pan if this is the shaped recipe. So as you can see here, I have pattern uh, with different uh, names or different letters and I specify each letter what do I want it to be. So you can do that with all the uh, letters of the alphabet and some symbols as well. Just make sure to specify what uh, key is uh, belongs to whatever pattern you're, you're putting in there. Now, uh, if you need some spaces, uh, you can always leave a blank space there. For example, I will need this side in my uh, recipe. So this side needs to be blank. And I just specify a space there and it will work. So let's talk about tags. Tags now uh, can be specified inside uh, data packs. Uh, if you want a custom tag. There's also uh, tags that uh, Minecraft has populated, like the wool uh, that we, we were using before. This is using the uh, namespace Minecraft wool, and the uh, whatever the contents is inside this tag will be used into this recipe. The contents for this one is all the colored wools as we uh, already mentioned. Now, if we go here, and we're gonna use a custom tag, one that I made, and it's gonna be stone alike. That's the name I, I placed. And let's take a look at what, how it looks. So inside this uh, tag, we have values, and those values are going to be a uh, name of items or IDs for items. So in this case, I'm gonna use diorite, andesite, and granite. Okay. And we're gonna um, place them inside the data pack. So this is how it looks in the data pack. This is the data pack, the data packs folder. We get inside this uh, data pack. The data pack will have uh, the uh, uh, meta information or file. And inside we'll have data then the namespace that we're going to use like i was using uh here yeah this is the namespace mat custom then inside mat custom i have functions recipes tags so this is how the new structure is uh set for minecraft 1.13 uh, inside we have the recipes all the recipes that we were looking at and also we have tags inside tags you can have blocks or items um, blocks you will you can use it um, if you want to use functions and this will be placed blocks so for example I have a function to run over that will give you speed uh, if you're on top of certain blocks so that will be specified in this uh, tag that I'm, I created, which is uh, right now stone alike. And if you want uh, crafting recipes to work with this type of tags, you need to uh, create another uh, inside items. So in items, I have the same one with uh, that uh, with those blocks inside this uh, tag, which is this one. And those are the blocks. So now what I'm doing. And this one is in this pattern uh, using this tag meaning those blocks uh, I will create or as a result I'm gonna have stone slabs I'm gonna have three stone slabs so what I'm using is um, recreating an old recipe that uh, was removed from Minecraft which is the stone slabs uh, using the um, diorite and the site and granite all right time to test those so here is the crafting recipe i mean the crafting bench and i'm gonna use andesite in this case in this shape and we have stone slab now uh, because i have the inside the same tag the the, the other types of uh, stone like blocks i can add any of them and 
you can combine any type of them. I can have one and two and three like that, and it will uh, and it will create the slabs that I uh, I just specified. So this is uh, an interesting way if you want to create recipes that will include many other types of uh, blocks. And this is how it will work. And here's a little preview of what I did uh, using the tags with other commands, the block tags, in this case are place blocks. And I'm going to give myself speed when I walk on those uh, blocks. Okay, time to check some other types of recipes. Uh, this is uh, top and bottom. So we're going to have on the top grass, the item grass, and on the bottom we're going to have dirt. And that will create a grass block. So that is pretty simple and uh, this shape uh, can be uh, placed in any um, of the in any place in the crafting table. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. All right, so the recipe is grass and dirt, and we have the grass blocks. So that works top and bottom, and I can place it anywhere as long as it has that shape. It doesn't matter if it's in the middle, on the bottom, as long as it has that shape. You will create that type of block. One last recipe I want to uh, run by you guys is um, basically I'm crafting something like diamond, a diamond chest plate to diamonds. But I feel like doing this shouldn't be uh, that easy. I feel like you need something. Um, like in alchemy, you need uh, the Philosopher's Stone, maybe we can use an Emerald, and then we have the Diamonds back. Now, if this is a shapeless recipe, the, the, the uh, Emerald can be anywhere on the chest plate, and I'm going to show you the recipe for this, and let's get some Diamonds like that. What do you guys think? Or maybe we can use an Emerald block to be fair. I don't know. Let me let me know what you think. If you want to create that uh, recipe, this is uh, how you do it. It's a shapeless recipe with diamond chest plate and emerald, and it's gonna give you as a result diamonds, eight diamonds. All right, guys. Uh, this is all I have for now. And uh, if I uh, find more, more information about this I'm, I'm gonna make sure to have a video for it uh, as far as I know things are going to stay the same way as they are right now so if you have any questions let me know and also if you have any uh, maybe recipes that seem interesting uh, let me know as well uh, okay so about the data packs uh, I have another video that you can watch and create your own data pack and also, whatever um, recipes you saw in this episode are going to be available uh, in the description as a download. And you just need to place that zip file inside your data packs folder in your uh, Minecraft server. So this is all for now, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!